back bow. morning we're going to set some gates here at the corral. We're going to try to pre-capture uh, the cows and calves down here at the creek place. The cowboys are coming tomorrow so uh, we, we got to try to keep them out of the woods so it makes it easier for the cowboys to drive them in the corral. That same black cow that was off by herself the other day is off by herself again. So I want to step up in the woods there and see if she's either had a calf or trying to. No baby yet, but she's got an udder big enough to feed four calves, it looks like, if she ever does calf. Come on, cow! Okay, let's go close the gate. Okay, not nearly of all of the cattle came in. I think about two thirds of the cows, maybe a third of the calves. But in the past, I've always been able to capture a big portion of them here. And then the others come around through the woods and get up close to the corral where I can usually just drive them on in. Now we got them going. Hip. Also, I got to make sure all the uh, head shoots and everything are working smoothly, so I gotta grease them up, use a little WD-40, make sure they're adjusted correctly. After I got the grease and WD-40 put in, I'm just gonna work it back and forth, and make sure everything's worked in. Looks like everything's adjusted correctly there. Now I just need to go around and make sure all the panels are wired up. Oh, I also need to uh, put WD-40 on some of these spring-loaded latches on the gates, make them work a little easier and quieter. It's always a bit of a chore to get everything ready for working cattle. Uh, tomorrow I'm trying to get everything sorted out and ready to load up in the morning. I need extension cords for the uh, generator so I power my electric uh, branding iron. Got ear taggers, tags for the calves. Got an applicator for the dewormer. And I got some 
extra needles for the syringes, and some big tags, numbered tags for cows that have lost their tags since last year. And here are my syringes to give the vaccines. Branding iron that always rusts a little bit between use, so I gotta clean that up with a wire brush a little bit. I always like to have a spare applicator or two for the dewormer, because invariably one will go bad or cow step on it and break it or something. Got an extra ear tag applicator. Got a nose clamp. Don't have to use it very often, but once in a while you get a cow that's throwing a little bit of a fit and you need to put that in their nose and it calms them right down. Got this to cut old ear tags out. If they get so faded, I can't read the number. I'll cut them out and replace it with a new one. But the vaccines that I'll be using tomorrow are the calves. All the calves will get this clostridium and the cows will be getting a lepto vaccine, leptospira. We'll also be administering a pour on uh, dewormer on their back. It also gets rid of flies for about six weeks too, but the main thing is it's a dewormer. It takes care of internal and external parasites. Mm -hmm.